So in 2020, in the midst of the NHL playoffs, uh, numerous Stanley Cup uh, lore and stories have been uh, shared in recent days. How the Cup uh, has been, you know, made bigger over the years. Uh, the names that were on the Cup to a certain point had to be replaced and put in the Hockey Hall of Fame because there's not enough room. But you're probably saying to yourself, well, do I know everything about the various trophies of NHL history? Well, we know about everything from Connie Smythe to Vezina to Jennings to Lady Bang to Masterson. But what about the NHL's uh, second trophy in regards to its championships and its championship round? Second trophy. Well, uh, this is going to be a history lesson for a lot of people that didn't know about it. And I completely forgot about this after... Uh, uh, but I, I did uh, rekindle my memory when I did some research. We're going to talk today about the, uh, the, the classic trophy called the O'Brien Trophy. Now, the O'Brien Trophy or O'Brien Cup, as labeled on the trophy itself, is, is a currently retired trophy that may come back one of these days. It was awarded in the NHL, NHA, National Hockey Association, and the NHL, Ice Hockey Leagues, from 1910 to 1950. Now, it was originally donated to the NHA by Canadian Senator M.G. O'Brien in honor of his son, Ambrose O'Brien. Now, the cup was fabricated using silver from an O'Brien mine. Now, uh, the cup is awarded under four definitions. Now, from 1910 to 1917, it was awarded to the NHA champion. In 21, the cup was transferred to the NHL and awarded to the NHL playoff champion until 1927. Now, from 27 to 28 until 1938, it was awarded to the Canadian Division regular season champion. Now, starting with 39, it was awarded to the NHL playoff runner-up. Now, after 49.50, the cup was retired and has not been awarded since. Now, in total, the cup has been presented in 41 seasons to 12 different teams. You can pretty well figure out right now who won it the most. I don't even have to say it. Now, the cup is now the collection of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Now, the cup was donated to the NHA by uh, O'Brien, uh, again, in honor of his son, who was credited with the formation of the NHA, the forerunner to the NHL. The cup was originally given to the NHA's title squad. Now, uh, again, a silver trophy from the O'Brien mine. The trophy's value was then estimated at $600 Canadian, or about $12,000 in $2,020. Like the Stanley Cup, trustees were named for the trophy. These were NHA, NHA executives Harry Tiny, Emmett Quinn, and T. Yates Foster. Later, Stanley Cup trustee William Foran would become the sole trustee of the O'Brien Cup. On December 12, uh, December 2, 1911, the NHA officially designated the trophy as its championship hardware. When the NHA was suspended in 1917, the cup was held, of course, by the Montreal Canadiens. It remained in their care until 21. In November 21, it was announced that the Cup would be given over to the NHL to be awarded annually to the NHL playoff champions. NHL President Frank Calder, of course he has the Calder Trophy named after him for a rookie, arranged with Ambrose uh, a new, new deed or gift. The Cup, which Calder had secured following the debt of Montreal President George Kennedy, was then presented to the NHL champion, Ottawa Senators. In 1925, the NHL inaugurated the Prince of Wales Trophy, which was also presented to the NHL playoff champions. And uh, that current trophy goes to the Eastern Conference, Conference uh, champions in the NHL. Clarence Campbell Bowl goes to the Western side. Now, from 1928 onwards, one year after the NHL expanded to two divisions in 1926, the Cup was awarded to the winner of the Canadian division, while the Prince of Wales trophy was awarded to the winner of the American division. It would be awarded under that definition until the end of the 38th season. Now, the 39 season saw the NHL move back to a single division because of uh, teams moving and uh, collapsing. And from that point on, the Cup was awarded to the playoff runner-up. The Cup was not formally awarded from 39 to 43, and it would not be until 44 that the winning teams from that period were inscribed on the trophy. Now, at the end of the 1950 season, the trophy was retired and has not been awarded since then. It is now in the collection of the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, Ontario and is on display with other historic trophies in the entrance of the Panasonic hometown hockey exhibit. Now, of course, obviously, the Montreal Canadiens have won it the most, having garnered it 11 times. The Toronto Maple Leafs have won it the second most, a total of eight times, 
Six is the Maple Leafs, once is the St. Patrick's, and once is the Toronto's. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings have won the Cup the most times of any, any American team, having won it five times. Again, winners of the trophies. Ottawa got six as well. Boston and Montreal Maroons. Quebec Bulldogs each have uh, two. Chicago Blackhawks, Montreal Wanderers, New York Rangers, and the Toronto Hockey Club of the NHA has won once. Now, NHA champions, 1910, Montreal Wanderers, 1911, the Senators, 12 and 13, the Bulldogs, 14, the Toronto Hockey Club, the NHA version, 15, the Senators, 16, 17, the Canadians. NHL playoff champion, 18, Toronto Hockey Club, 1919, the Canadians, 2021, the Senators, 22, Toronto St. Pats, formerly the Toronto Hockey Club of the NHL. Then the Senators, Canadians twice in 24 and 25, Maroons in 26, and the Senators in 27. Uh, Canadian Division Champions, Canadians in 28 and 29, the Maroons in 30, Canadians in 31 and 32, 33, Toronto Maple Leafs, formerly the St. Pats, 34 and 35, again the Maple Leafs, 36, the Maroons, 37, the Canadians, and 38, the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, uh, NHL playoff runner-up, 39 and 40, the Maple Leafs, 41 42, the Red Wings, 43, the Bruins, 44, the Blackhawks, 45, the Red Wings, 46, the Bruins, 47, the Canadians, which made him the only time the loss in the final in that era, Detroit Red Wings in 48 and 49, and the Rangers in 1950. So, uh, a lot of this research, uh, again, done by uh, Stan Fischler, one of the great uh, writers and reporters in NHL history. Now, the O'Brien Trophy is. Uh, your, your your typical wide frame with two hockey players on the front. And I think it should be brought back, not because uh, I don't think uh, you could present it at the same time as the Stanley Cup, but it should be a respectful trophy uh, that everybody should look at as part of the development years of the NHL uh, and uh, the NHA and the Canadian division. Because the Canadian uh, division uh, was... Uh, uh, quite uh, quite interesting. By the way, what's kind of kind of strange about this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the O'Brien uh, Cup is not to be confused with the Larry O'Brien Trophy of the NBA. There is some uh, confusion sometimes in history because uh, that trophy obviously has a different connotation altogether. So thanks for listening. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting a lot of requests through the pike in recent days, so uh, keep an eye out. We have about uh, 30 requests on the go. So we're going to try to get to Trudem by hopefully the start of uh, October. I can only do like 20 a day. Well, maybe 15. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.